Hello, this is a tutorial on solving systems of equations using matrices and the matrix feature on the TI-84 graphing calculator. For this example, we will be looking at the system I have written here in the upper right hand corner. And assuming a little bit of background on matrices, the first thing I want to do is to rewrite this system as a matrix equation. So I'll do that. I'll write 2x plus 3y plus 3z, 10x minus 6y plus 3z, and 4x minus 3y minus 6z is equal to the matrix 2, 0, 2. Now I'm going to factor apart the matrix on the left into one matrix that contains the coefficients and the other matrix that contains the variables. And to understand how this works, I'm assuming that you have some background on multiplying matrices so that you can see how the factored form is still our original form. The factored form would be this. I'd have all my coefficients And if you were missing one of the variables here, for instance, if I was missing the y term for my first equation, I would put in a 0 for its coefficient. And you must do that for this process to still work. And then here, in a single column matrix, I'm going to write my variables. And here's my results. Now, if I remultiply this matrix by this one, I will get back to this original matrix. So hopefully multiplying matrices is okay for you. Uh, now my next thing is to create an argument that if I had some known matrix A, and I'm going to let this coefficient matrix be matrix A, some unknown matrix, call it X, and the product of those two matrices being equal to another one, B, I could solve that matrix equation by multiplying each side by the inverse of A. The multiplicative inverse, that is. That would cause these two to drop out with a product of being the identity matrix times my variable matrix X being equal to the inverse of A times B. Now, the identity matrix X, I'm sorry, the identity matrix is very much like the number one in that if I multiply a matrix by it, it doesn't change the value. That's why we call it the identity matrix. So really, just like I would not write the number one next to a variable as its coefficient, we assume it is there, I'm not going to write the identity matrix being there either. Sorry about that, my eraser size was larger than I wanted. So I'm going to just have that be gone. What this gives me now is the argument I need in order to solve for my variables x, y, and z. Realizing that this coefficient matrix is A and this result matrix is B, I need to multiply the inverse of A times B to get my variable matrix and its values. So let's go ahead in my graphing calculator. I'm going to enter in matrix A and matrix B. To do so, we go to second matrix, which is the x to the negative 1 key. I move to the right over to edit. And matrix A is the one I want to use. So I'll press enter. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. So I write in 3, enter, 3, enter. And now I enter in the elements of that matrix. So that's 2, 3, 3, 10, negative 6, 3, 10, oh, sorry, let me go back. That was a 4, that's supposed to be a 4, and negative 3. 
and negative 6. I apologize for that mistake. Now I go on and I need to edit matrix B. So I'm going to go back to second matrix, move to the right. Now I move down to select matrix B. And this is a 3 by 1. So 3, enter, 1, enter. And I'll place the values from B. 2, 0, 2. 2, enter, 0, enter, 2, enter. Now I get out of this to my main screen where I can do calculations. So I press second, quit. And I'm on my main screen and I will call up matrix A. Second matrix A. I want the multiplicative inverse of that. So that is my x to the negative 1 key times, call up matrix B, second matrix B. Press enter. And now I just have to press enter one more time and I get the values of x, y, and z. Notice that these are very large decimals. Intuitively I know what they are, but if we didn't see them so nicely, I can turn those into fractions, which may be more usable. By simply choosing the math menu and choose two fractions, I'll press enter and enter one more time and it gives me those values as fractions which is nice. So that tells me my matrix X which is X, Y, and Z is equal to the matrix one-half, two-thirds, and negative one-third. There we go. So x is one-half, y is two-thirds, and z is negative one-third. It makes pretty quick work of it. I talked through each of the steps, so it took a little bit longer, but literally this will go as fast as you can type. Whether you're doing a 3x3 three three matrix, a 5x5, five 10x10, five, 10 10, whatever the size is, this is a very fast and efficient way to solve a system of equations. I hope that helps. Good luck.